there's an illusion in the United States that we have free press, and it is purely an illusion. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, because the censorship that takes place here doesn't just come from the government, it comes from, it is a result of the editorial viewpoint of the people who own the individual broadcast licenses and the individual newspapers and magazines. Oh, none of these people are liberal. Uh, everybody, um, I would say 90% of the people who own media are of an extreme right-wing persuasion. In fact, one of the things that these right-wing um, broadcasters have done is to cre create a smokescreen. A few years ago, they started this campaign <clears throat> that worked like this. They had people from right-wing organizations go on television and complain that the media had a liberal bias and then spent a year or more having debates and arguments between these people uh, who would talk about whether or not, in fact, the media was too liberal. And it never was liberal. It was always right-wing. But by bringing these people from the right-wing onto television to challenge the liberality of broadcasting, they created a situation where they can claim that in order to have more fairness in their broadcasting, they had to inject more right-wing element into the broadcasting. Think about that. Nice trick. And uh, it's still going on today. I mean, they've created the myth that American broadcasting, American media, it has a liberal bias. It never has had. It couldn't have because the people who own it are in no way liberal.